Now then, guys, how we doing? Welcome back. So, the last episode, obviously, seen us go out of two cup competitions. Can you believe it? A 2-1 defeat to Celtic, a 4-2 defeat to Real Sociedad. So, we're out of all the cups now, and we're out of that Europa League as well. So, we've got Rangers today, Dunfermline. in. Rangers, the big game, obviously. We need to get a victory there to keep Rangers off our tail. Dunfermline, a team that I'd expect to beat anyway. So, I'm hoping by the end of today's episode... That we've got another six points on the board. Celtic, three points behind us. Even if we slip up against Rangers, it's not the end of the world. However, goal difference is something that's potentially going to catch us out towards the end of the season. Now, the big team news, as we know, is Stefano Gori is out. He'll miss this game, and then he should be back for that Dunfermline one anyway. So, yeah, let's get into that Rangers game. So here we go then, as the league is splitting off, now this, you know, you've got your top six playing against each other, so we've got Dunfermline, Hibs, Motherwell against Celtic, and Rangers against Hearts. Now the big thing for me is if we can get points from Rangers and points from Celtic, I would expect Rangers-Celtic, if I can end in a draw, that would be ideal for us. So yes, that's the first set of games coming up. Team selection-wise then, we're going Sarkic in goal, Divine, Finley, Suter and Clark, with Rinna Motter in the holding role. Martorana, Coventry and Byrne, and then Brown and Shankland up front. Centre Mar back from his, it's got to be now for what now, four months. He's back and on the bench, so we may see him feature today. So the social roundup then, Sean Peacock says, Bocelli certainly has things going well. And Dylan Nesmith says, always happy to see a bit of this way of playing. And Kieran Stewart says, Finley starting is good. So Ryan Kent obviously is a danger man for them. I expect to see a much better performance from you today. Obviously two back-to-back -back defeats is unheard of this season. As we march out onto Ibrox and we need three points. So almost 10 minutes gone and nothing has happened yet. That's ideal for us. Latest score-wise, what's going on elsewhere? Scottish Premiership, Celtic 1-1 with Motherwell. Motherwell scored in two minutes. Aberdeen 1-0 up against Kilmarnock. Doesn't impact us. But yeah, half an hour gone. We have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come on. Burn then. Free kick into the box. There's a penalty. Somebody's being pushed. I think Finley's gone down. Finley's been brought down by Munoz. Richie isn't on the pitch. Who's going to take the penalty? Is it Shankland? It is Lauren Shankland. Begins his run up. What a goal. We are 1-0 up on 35 minutes. I gifted a penalty there. You know, but it's a great penalty from Shankland as well. Keep, uh, you know, should have maybe kept that out. But who cares? Who cares? We are 1-0 up with five minutes of this half to go. Three shots, two on target as they have a throw in. No, Williams. Clark gets it clear. Why aren't we chasing that one down? As offer boy, he's caused us some problems in the past. Moda. Ball through to Kent, who we said was the danger man. He's, what a save. What a save. What a save again. Sarkic with a double save on 42 minutes. It all seemed to happen really slowly, that. But we've kept it out anyway. Kent with the corner. Finley gets it clear. We need to chase it down. As Andre Horta picks up. And Williams. And he finishes there. Right, let's just go into half time and regroup. 1-0 um, I'm happy with that. I'm delighted with your performance. Delighted with your, the way you're playing. The keeper with a decent save. 7.4 for Sarkic. We'll take that. Any changes I need to make? Divine's not having a great game. I don't really want to make any changes as of yet. Let's just carry on like that. Could come back to get us. But as it stands, we are five points clear. Kent then with the corner. It's in. It's a header. It's off the bar. Wow. Six minutes into the second half. They hit the bar. We're feeling the pressure. We've got 52% possession, but it's going to count for nothing because they are knocking on the door. Brown then, down to Martirana. That's a shocking throw. Martirana, Rinna Motta, Divine. Oh, little spin. Shanklin, Burn. Guys, come on. We've got all the way back there. I'm not bothered. Just keep possession. Rinna Motta, they're pressing hard. Sutar again. Finley. Just got to be careful. We're not really making any yardage. Brown. Ball through to Martirana. Martirana beats his man. Martirana, it's a big save. Villar in goal. Makes the save. Corner ball then. Burn. As we have the opportunity. And the keeper comes out and claims that one. Good hands. With a now we're gone. I've not made any changes yet. I think we may have to, you know. 
Rinna Motta is on a 6.8. Divine is still having a poor game. Let's get Ancora on out there. What else do we do? Brown, should we get Centamar on? Do it. So a double change. Centamar is going to get 25 minutes. Wow, this is massive. What is going on elsewhere? 15 minutes to go. Motherwell are winning 2-1 against Celtic. We could go six points clear if results remain the same. Williams with the throw. Kent is into the box. Has a crack. Sarkic holds on. 84 minutes gone. Can you believe the position that we find ourselves in? Burn to Clark. Don't turn over possession. Suter. As he goes long. Ball over the top. There is nobody there as King chases it down. All the way back. That's nice. It's the teasers. Ball over the top. What are we doing? We've fallen asleep. There's Balogun then. Into the box. Sarkic, what a save. Heroics from Sarkic. They are changing it up. They're going to a 4-2-3-1 now. As Byrne wants to come off. Let's get Janelli on. All the changes are made with five minutes to go. Janelli's not on yet, but will be shortly as they go all the way back to the keeper. And let's go in. Celtic are still losing 2-1 as well. Are we going to the last couple of minutes? We might get a massive result here. And we have Sarkic, the hero of that game. 8.1. Well played. Six shots, four on target. 51% possession. And we get a massive 1-0 victory. Well done, lads. Well done. Whew. What a result that is. Especially with Celtic lost 2-1. We're six points clear with four games to go. We could win the league. We could win the league. Who'd have thought? So Aaron Dalglish says, absolutely delighted with that unbelievable result. And Dougie Forster says, yes, Arctic was good, but a shame about everybody else. I thought it was a decent team performance. But then again, you know, Alison MacGyver says the same. Sarkic was all right and we got the win, but thought we could have been a little bit sharper all round. What a performance. And the thing is now, Sarkic's going to drop out as Gory will be back from injury. Let's give him some praise. Your goalkeeper was a joy to behold. And Motherwell's 10-game unbeaten home run continues as they build Celtic 2-1. That is shocking. So league table-wise then, there you go. Like I say, six points clear. What's the next set of games? We play Dunfermline. Celtic against Rangers, so that's a big one as well. If they end up drawing there and we win, I reckon that's it, you know. So let's get to that Dunfermline match. And here we go then, the next biggie, oh dear, three points in this one guys, I genuinely reckon that's it, if we win this one, obviously dependent on that Rangers and Celtic game, but if they draw, I just cannot see you slipping up from there, so let's get into it, team selection wise, then we're going with Gory and Gorley, who's back in now, he's recovered from injury, Clark, Finley, Sutat and Logan, with Rinna Motter in the holding role, Martirana, Coventry and Ginelli, and then Brown and Shankland up front, you know what, I'm going to start centre mark. He's going to come on. Brown, he's dropped out, he's not. Patterson will drop out there. And that's the way we'll play it. I think that's the way to go. Everyone else, ready to go. So let's go. So the social roundup then, Gary Barkley says, Rinna Mott starting is a terrible call. Why would that be a terrible call? And Craig In says, not got a great feeling about this. Ooh, that doesn't inspire us. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do to keep this run going. And Thomas Megal is winning a lot of plaudits for many perceived to be his overachievement at Dunfermline. Absolutely. Thomas is showing that you don't need to spend a lot of money. And you're obviously very surprised by the current performance levels. I'm not trying to patronise. Your hard side can book a spot in the preliminary stages of the Champions League with a win here. So if we win here, we're, we're getting a Champions League spot regardless. We deserve to qualify for a spot. I didn't even realise that. You know, I'm more focused on winning the league. But we could actually get a Champions League spot with a win here. So let's keep an eye on what's going on elsewhere as well. As they have a throw on four minutes. Coventry with the head down. And there's nobody there. We just get there though. Centre Mar. Right, Shankland. Janelli. Ball across to Martirana. That's a cracking ball. Got to be careful with that ball across. Logan tidies it up. Janelli is lost out. Longstaff on it. And he's on the way. He's got pace. He beats two of our men. Longstaff, we open right up. No way. He has a crack. It's over the bar. That would have been a screamer as he beat two of our men out wide. Celtic Rangers still 0-0 with 10 minutes gone. Motherwell go 1-0 up against Tavernian. Sutar then. Down. 
Coventry, God, nicks it. What a ball. Mm. Got to be carried away then. A fourth centre mile would have got on to that as they hit a ball over the top. Sutar cleans it up and Logan then. Finlay. Ball out wide to Martirana. Go on. Martirana. They dive in and we turn over possession again. We ain't been great on the ball here as McGuinness gets it. Ball down O'Hara. Guys. McGuinness, Kemp, ball through the middle to Power. What a goal that is. Simon Power with his fifth goal of the season. 13 minutes on the clock. We are a goal down. It's been coming as well. We've been awful in possession. Zohara, you know, they knock it about nicely. We turn over. Martirana up on that far corner was just, yeah, he was just phased out of the game. As Rangers, Celtic still nil-nil. So we're five points clear as it stands. As we dive in, what are we doing? What on earth are we doing here? Kemp, look at that ball through the middle. O'Hara and Gorey makes the save this time. Ah, it's not working, is it, guys? A Celtic Rangers still 0-0. Livingston are 1-0 up. Brophy, he's scoring goals for fun at the minute. And Rangers are 1-0 up against Celtic. Right. Finlay to Sutar. Come on, guys. I don't want to start shouting at him yet. But that ball over the top to St. Amar. Lobs the keeper, Lewis with the save. It's a cheeky effort. It's the kind of flair that he's got. As Chris Tipple has scored for Rangers. Coventry the ball in, Finley down to Ginelli. And that is shocking. And it goes. We've got a corner again, Coventry. Ball in, Suta scores, John Suta. Fourth goal of the season and we're back on level terms on 35 minutes. Ball in from Coventry. He gets there to near post, keeper is flapping. We're just going to pause it a little bit. I think we need to fire up the team. It's an even game. 51% possession. It's a corner on 38. Finley gets it clear. St. Amar then. Go by yourself, son. St. Amar running. He's turned their defence inside out. He's going by himself. St. Amar is far too tight there. He should have pulled the trigger much early. But it's a corner as Halkett, former Martin, gets it clear. Dear me, Rangers up into second, Celtic down to third as things stand. Goal difference, like I say, does worry me a little bit. I'm not happy with your performance. Finlay is not happy. I think I might get Finlay off with that in mind. And Cora can come on. Lombardo not even on the bench. As Rinna Motta and Coventry have got cards. My bench isn't great, if I'm completely honest. Down the middle, I can get burn on, but I don't think that's the right decision. We're just going to keep it as it is for now. Centre Marlow needs a goal as Ancora's come on for Finlay then. Shanklin with the head and there you go. Lauren Shanklin, 23rd goal of the season. 2-1 in the first 50 seconds of the second half. In front of our fans as well. Oh, that's a great header. They fall asleep. 50 minutes gone then. Centre Marta, Rinna Motta. Shankland. Oh, it's just wide from Shankland. Corner ball. I reckon that would have put it to bed. Coventry. It's in. And Cora heads it over the bar. What are we doing? A decent second half. Get sent Amar off soon, I think. Maybe bring Hernandez on. Give Charlie Brown a rest in this one. Right, let's do that then. So, my next substitution. Janelli's taken an ox. So, Burn will go out wide. That'll do. I was going to make a change up front. But I think with Janelli's current condition burns probably the man to come on so results wise and celtic a 2-2 against rangers a draw would be massive for us a draw would see us go eight points clear with three games to go power then ball across to ancora coventry clark out to burn Go on, Burn running. What a goal from Jack Burn! Twenty-five yards out, gotta be. Substitution comes on, and that should be that three-one against Dunfermlin. We come from a goal down as well. Like Burn picks it up in his own half, and he's on the way, and just pulls the trigger. It's a great finish. Final change to make then tactically. Like, what do I do here? Let's get Hernandez on for centre mark. 
I was going to do that anyway, so we'll just run as it is. As Rangers Celtic still 2-2. Two -two. Gory then to Suta. Alright, pick it up. Coventry. Shankland. Hernandez. Martirana beats his man. Skips past him like he's not there. Square it. The keeper spills it. And it's out for a throw in. Guys, come on. The Celtic Rangers are still 2-2. Two -two. I reckon this is going to be it. So that's full time for us. We could be 8 points clear with 9 points to play for. A good win, boys. Well done. What a second half. Turned it around. And Celtic and Rangers draw. So we are 8 points clear. Like I say, with 3 games left to go. Half the fans reacted then. Nicky War says that ticket was worth every penny today. A brilliant match. Halkett suffers defeat against former club. Is the headline. Relief for Livingston as they secure survival. And we've got a scout report on Campbell. So I'm trying to obviously stick with the Scottish contingent as well for the team. So, league table. Like I say, eight points cleared. And our next set of games is Hearts against Celtic. So with that in mind, where are you going to join me next? So we've got Celtic, Muhuwell and Hibbs. Can you imagine if it comes down to that last game of the season against Hibbs? I want the league to be won potentially before then. So we've got Celtic and Motherwell in the next game. So that's where you'll join me next. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Tara.